Hi, scholars. Today we're going to be reading the story Go Yanji Means Cat. Go Yanji Means Cat. When Su Min came from Korea to her new home in America, she spoke no English. Her family knew just a few Korean words Makta, eat, chim day, bed, bop, rice. Jip, house. In the first few days, Su Min quickly taught them words. Anya, no, when she didn't want to go to bed. Apo, hurt, when she scraped her knee. Gom, teddy bear, which she carried in the hood of her jacket. Popo, kiss, a gift she gave her parents. She called the woman Oma and the man Appa. Best of all was Go Yanji, the cat. The woman's light eyes and the man's beard were strange to Sumin. All the food was new except Bop. But Sumin loved Go Yanji right from the start. She followed the cat from room to room playing hide and seek. At night, Go Yanji curled up on Sumin's bed. When she was frightened by a siren in the street, she stroked Go Yanji's soft fur. When Sumin missed her Korean friends, Go Yanji licked her hand with his towelly tongue. In that first week, Sumin went out with her new parents to the park, and in the car, and to the library. When she wanted to go back to the house, she tugged on Oma's sleeve. She meant, let's go. Oma didn't come, so Sumin said, Go Yanji. When Oma still didn't understand, Sumin said, Go Yanji Ji. She meant, The cat is out the house, let's go. Sumin said, Go Yanji Ji Makada. She meant, The cat is out the house and needs his food, let's go. She tugged on Oma's sleeve until they headed back. One morning at the end of Su Min's first week in her new house, when Appa was leaving, Go Yanji slipped out the door and ran down the steps and disappeared. Su Min noticed at breakfast. Go Yanji, she asked. Oma pointed to the door. Go Yanji, Jip? Su Min asked. Oma shook her head and pointed no. Go Yanji outside. Su Min didn't finish her breakfast. She sat by the window and watched the street. Let's go look for Go Yanji, Oma said. Su Min walked up and down the block. Go Yanji, Su Min's called. Go Yanji. Here, kitty, kitty, Oma called. Come home, Go Yanji, come home. Su Min knew the cat was frightened and wanted her to come back. She knew he was lonely and afraid. Su Min and Oma walked slowly down the street. Oma called, Go Yanji, come home, come home, kitty. Back at the house, sitting on Oma's lap, Su Min cried and cried. She cried for Go Yanji. She cried for Korea. So many tears. Oma held her, rocked her. When Su Min fell asleep on the couch, Oma covered her with a blanket. Su Min slept until Appa returned from work. She heard his footsteps in the hall. And then Su Min heard another sound. She ran to the door. Go Yanji, she said. She knelt beside the cat and stroked his head. He licked her hand and rubbed against her, purring loudly.